Hello Doraemons, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I have the Unix question which is asked on 7th of February and this question is very very different. Like I won't say it's different in case of comparison but the method I'm going to use is going to be completely different. And I'm going to show you a different command by which you can compare the strings easily and you will not get any errors even with awk command you can try it but we are not going to compare here with awk command because this command is used to give one line answers if you want to just come display the strings this matches this type of string like if you want to print a line which has a certain word without considering the cases so in that scenario this command which I'm going to teach now is grep command we'll be using this command to solve the solution like for this question alone so this question is based on the company ID company name and we have the usual story and here they have informed us write a unique command to display the number of companies who are belonging to banking sector and who have published their results in second quarter so if you look at the sample and input and output you can see it's it's going to display the company sector as banking and the result quarter should be second so here we are going to use this grep command it usually compares with the strings and returns you the values and we are going to just omit this first line as we always do and we are going to just print which are the sectors which have banking as sector and second in their quarter so we are going to just compare them and count the number and then we are going to just display it if not we are going to display as no records found so let's do that so here first i'm going to compare and check out the lines which is having banking first so to compare without cases like ignoring the cases we are going to use if and i grab if and i and here i'm going to just put banking so this compares and prints the line which has banking as a string or substring which in the line and then it's going to print that entire line so I'm going to just run and show you I've always already given the input and tested it so just running it you can see the sectors which has banking it has only displayed in simple the lines which has banking has been just displayed so you can just pass a pipeline and use a, this command again to separate the second also but this is only in case when you want to display like a line which has a substring log like that so if you want to count and all again we will be using the awk command only so here i'm going to just use the awk command to count the things and compare whether it is return something if it is not returning anything we have to print like no record found so just quickly we'll just do that quickly this question is very easy to solve but i wanted to show you about this grep command so that's why i'm just using it so here i'm going to just give a little space and here i'm going to just delete this and let's see what it gives so as you can see only two lines are displaying now which is 03 ICICI banking and second and 04 HDFC banking and second. So we have to just count these two items and we are going to just display only the count. So here we will be using the R command and with the begin and we will be using the field separator which is and the AND symbol will ambersand and then here I'm going to declare a variable to count it which I call it as C and we will not be ignoring the first line over here because already it has been ignored by this grep command so just we are going to increment the value once it gets into it so if any of the rows comes out we are going to count it plus equal to 1 and then in the end part we are going to just declare whether C is greater than 0 then we are going to print only the count which is the value if c we can print the value which is the count print c and then if not we are going to just give the else part and print as no record found so that's it it's a very easy question no record
found. I think many of you would have solved this question by just comparing here. Also, you can compare like give ignore case one and you can compare like dollar three is equal to banking and dollar four is equal to like second. And also guys like one more thing you have to discuss with you guys is I found this like the grep command will be a lot more useful and if you want me to do a tutorial or like a tutorial on the set command or cup command and like comparing the parts of the string like substring please comment it down I'm not sure about it so I'm just wanting your suggestion to do those and uh, like I wanted to give you and like little prediction about the next ERA because what I've seen is the last two questions have been easy like if not easy it is at least solvable and if you try, try one or twice it is solvable and I predict that like, next question will be very tough so it's uh, the data will not be as much as clear like the last two ERAs because I've noticed this happened before so that's why I'm giving you like a little disclaimer like if you face any of these and if you couldn't solve or figure out how you want to solve the question make sure you watch the video like how you have to handle, handle the questions on for tough questions and if there is any last minute changes with your languages or something and if you can't log in into your desired language that doesn't come pop out or if you want in any exceptional situations like changing your language you can use that like um, for test cases for java or python each will hold 10 if it is divided into 5 then the hidden test cases will have like the higher score and you can check that out and unix is usually like two test cases hidden test cases will have three marks and the open test cases will have two marks so cracking the unix will at least give you an idea of like getting at least 55 or a pass cracking the exam ira or cpa and it will also gain you incentive so mainly focus on the mcq part and also the unix part so that you can at least crack the exam and with your subsequent attempts you can just try to score the highest mark to get the highest incentives and that's it for this video if you liked it please like the button click on the like button and if you like wanted to share this with your friends please make them share and subscribe to my channel so i'll be posting every alternate day as the ira's duration is shortened to seven days once you will be getting like updated videos every week on both python and uh, unix and for java i'm working on it people like i'm trying to put it out soon as possible and yeah you can expect some java solutions for ira as well as cpa so i'll meet you in the next one until then bye bye and keep learning and keep rocking and come on down whether you solve the next ira question and let's meet in there thank you bye bye